I'm going to crack 24 packs of Legacy Lost. Uh, Legacy Lost is the second set in the uh, Lapis Cluster. And I've been going through all the Lapis sets and cracking packs and making builds with them. Uh, building um, specific decks to the rulers. I also ordered a few of the rulers just because sometimes you don't pull them. Uh, these are going to be very casual builds. Uh, Legacy Lost, uh, I think I'm going to only make it to 12 packs in the first video. Uh, Legacy Lost is, um, and I forgot my scissors, but that's fine because these packs can be opened this way very carefully, ever so carefully. Um, I think Legacy Lost is one of the two hot packs in uh, Force of Will, Two Towers being the other one. Um, so I'm really lucky to have come across uh, some of these packs at what I think was a reasonable price. Uh, I think I paid total like uh, two fifty for each, two dollars fifty cents. Um, all right, so let's get going. Now, uh, Legacy Lost and Return of the Dragon Emperor, the two sets that are in the middle of the cluster, are um, a lot like uh, Return, uh, a lot of like the Ravnica um, sets in Magic, where there there's a lot of two color cards. And uh, five of the two color pairs are in one set, and five of the two, the two, uh, the other two, the other five two color pairs are in the second set. So when you combine Legacy Lost and Return of the Dragon Emperor, uh, you can build ten uh, rulers, each one in the two color pairs, uh, for the five attributes of uh, Force of Will. Now I'm more a collector than a player, but uh, I do know how some of the cards work. Uh, someday I hope to get to play this game a lot more than I have, meaning not zero. Uh, so I'm just going to go through the cards uh, showing them. I'm not really uh, going to read the cards. Uh, of course there's a few cards that I know I'm looking for because I have built decks before with cards uh, from Force of Will. Um, and I even know how what some of the uh, abilities mean uh, just because I play enough Magic and the two games are somewhat comparable. Okay. So I know there's a fairy tale theme in the Lapis Cluster uh, and I'm trying to build one. There's also a Tulu uh, theme and I'm, I'm also going to try to build that. Uh, and all the dual stones in uh, Legacy Lost and, uh, and Return of the Dragon Emperor uh, are pretty good. I think all of them are. Most of them. Okay, so that's the first pack and I'm going to be putting these in a little book uh, just to have fun and look at them and then I'll just show some builds, whatever builds I end up doing. And of course for the next 12 packs I will have my scissors ready. I knew I was missing something. I was sitting down I'm like, am I missing something? Sure am. Yeah, review all the top cards of your deck, top four cards. Um, this is like uh, Helix, I forget, Helix, the card from Ravnica. Uh, very similar, I mean, even in, in the same colors. I know there's two of them, there's one in Ravnica and one in Return to Ravnica. Um, they, are, they both do the same thing. So, foil, stone, regular stone. Of course, with Horse of Will, the artwork is just amazing. And uh, sorry that I'm not uh, a steady player of this game. I just like cracking the packs and I love the artwork. Um, someday, maybe, I'll get to play it. That'd be cool. So, yeah, that, I think so far... The two hot packs uh, are two towers because you can pull, uh, it's got some good rulers and you can pull uh, the original Sheshar Cat, which is always, I think, going to be a great card, in my opinion. Um, and then Legacy Lost also is another hot pack. And if you search in, uh, in eBay, you will, you will know that because 
uh, the Legacy Lost booster box and the packs uh, usually sell for a premium when compared to uh, the other, a lot of the other sets. Two towers, two towers and Legacy Lost packs usually sell for a premium. And I already ordered, like I said, a few of the rulers just because I want to build some uh, very casual uh, in cluster uh, decks. Token, these tokens are double sided, the elf token. Okay. This is the first video of the day and uh, I always forget something. Beautiful, beautiful dual stones that are specific to this cluster. Nice card. Oh, got the foil and the regular in the same pack. Of course, uh, one of the things that Force of Will does is it'll have in green things that are normally in blue and magic, like uh, like a boomerang effect. only a little more powerful. Oh, nice, nice. This is the Sheshar Cat from Curse of the Frozen Dragon. I mean, I'm sorry, Curse of the Frozen Casket. What am I talking about? Frozen Dragon, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I don't have this card, incredibly enough. I have the complete set but I never pulled this card. So Rinka, Rinka is a regular secret rare, I think, in Curse of the Frozen Cask. Uh, I'm sorry, it, it, it was a regular secret rare in Legacy Lost that you can pull as a, uh, as a full art in Curse of the Frozen Casket. And then Sheshar Cat is the other way around. I think I have that right. So this is actually a very rare pull. Very nice. Okay, so I think I already went through that pack. Yeah, this is definitely uh, going to be the best pull of these packs, in my opinion. Unless I pull uh, one of the rulers. Lightning Helix. Yes. See, even in my old brain I can remember cards. Lightning Helix is the card that I was trying to remember. And the one in Return to Ravnica has got some other Helix name. Of course, the artwork is just amazing. Amazing and Force of Will. Every uh, one of those uh, altars in magic, it's re really just somebody trying to recreate a Force of Will card, in my opinion. They don't even know it, though. And don't tell them that, because they have a lot of pride about how great magic is compared to everything else. I think when it comes to artwork, Force of Will doing really well, continues to do really well. I just hope the game becomes more popular. Uh, 
Ah, this is a nice pull. Yes, very good card. So this is a plummet. Uh, in Magic it would be called plummet, quick cast, so it's an instant, uh, but only at one instead of uh, one green in Magic. So Gale Force is definitely a hot pull. So I'm making some really good pulls already. Be nice if I pull a couple of rulers, maybe the the uh, more expensive ones. Uh, but if not, then I'll just build only to the casual ones, which I waiting for in the mail. I already have copies for my set, but these are extra copies just for for fun. My complete set. Which, incredibly enough, I did not have that uh, full art um, Cheshire Cat. Oh wow, another Gale Force. Nice. And another one of the Special Stones. Beautiful. Great pull. Three more packs left. Oh good, pull the ruler. There we go. Faria. Nice. We can build something without me having to wait for my singles order. There you have it folks. And this is a white green ruler. We're going to be doing inheritance tricks. Now, if I remember correctly, Inheritance is a lot like Flashback is in Magic. I'll have to dig it up, but I'm sure I'll research it and know what I'm talking about. I'm going to try to uh, when I build a deck, since now we have that ruler. This artist, I, I'm, I've grown to like uh, this artwork. They're, it's very specific. I really like the way Force of Will does it, where a single artist will do very similar cards. Oh, really beautiful token. Look at that. I Yeah, I do have this token. All right, so I think I've got one more pack of these uh, long-suffering natural openings. Uh, and I'll have scissors for the next one. Oh, nice. Another one. Beautiful full art. All right, 